This is the first of a series of videos where we will cover the solutions to the 2020 Qiskit Advocate exam. And in this particular video, we're going to be covering question 1.1, which states, what is the output of the following circuit given the initial state of ket zero? We're given a circuit with an X gate followed by a Hadamard gate. Now for this video, I'm going to assume some level of familiarity with quantum states and how they evolve through quantum gates. So in particular, um, it's important to understand uh, both ket notation and state vector notation. So for example, if we have the state zero in ket notation, um, it's important to know that this corresponds to the state vector one zero. And if we have ket one, that corresponds to the state vector zero one, it's also good to know how to represent different linear combinations of these two states into superposition states. All right, so let's get started. So question 1.1, and we're given a circuit with an X gate followed by a Hadamard gate. And what we're going to do here is first we're going to label each of the different stages of this circuit as different state vectors. So uh, the input we have the state psi zero here in the middle we have state psi one and here at the output we have state psi two and we're told in the statement of the question that our input state psi zero is equal to ket zero. So in order for us to find what psi one is, well, what we need to do is apply an X gate to psi zero, which is the state zero. And we know that the X gate has an associated matrix of zero, one, one, zero. And if we multiply that with our ket vector zero, which is the state vector one zero, we get zero times one plus one times zero here at the top. And then at the bottom we have one times one plus zero times zero. And then this is obviously state zero one which corresponds to the ket1 vector. And this makes sense because as we know, the X gate flips state zero to state one and state one to state zero. So now in order for us to find the output state psi two, what we do is now we apply a Hadamard gate to our state one and knowing that the operator matrix for the Hadamard gate is one over root two, one, one, one minus one. If we multiply now our state vector one, which is the vector zero, one, we get, well, obviously one over root two here. And then we have one times zero plus one times one. And then at the bottom we have, oops, sorry about that, one times zero plus minus one times one, minus one times one, which is one over root two. At the top we have one, and at the bottom we have minus one. And in ket representation, this is equal to one over root two zero minus one. And you know, the reason for this is because this vector right here, the vector one minus one can be decomposed into a state vector one zero plus, sorry, minus zero one. And as we saw before, this is state zero, 
minus state one. Okay, so now we know that our output psi two should be the state one over root two, zero minus one. So now let's go back to our Jupyter notebook and also code this in Qiskit uh, to make sure that our output matches what we just analytically derived. So the first thing we're going to do is in order to manipulate state vectors from Qiskit, we're going to import, sorry, from Qiskit dot quantum info we're going to import the state vector class what this is going to allow us to do is manipulate state vectors in Qiskit and in order to evolve our state vector what we need to define is a circuit so we're going to import from Qiskit the quantum circuit class all right, so we're going to do that. Here we go. And then what we're going to do next is first initialize our state. So we're told that our input state vector should be state vector zero. So we're going to do psi equal to state vector. And there are many different ways in which we can specify the state vector zero. So probably the more um, obvious one is to pass to the state vector class a list which corresponds to the column vector of state zero. So in that case, it will be a list corresponding to one comma zero. And if we look at what we have specified here, we can see here that we in fact have initialized state zero. Now, if for some reason in your Jupyter notebook, um, this is not rendering in this LaTeX form, but, but you see something more along the lines of just a printed um, you know, column vector, um, well, you need to first make sure that you have the latest version of Qiskit ins installed. And also, if, if it's still not rendering, what you can do is use this draw method and then pass the um, attribute uh, the parameter latex and uh, that way you should be able to uh, render in, in latex all right so now that we have initialized our state what we're going to do is define the circuit of off uh, to evolve our state through it so what we're going to do is we're going to define our circuit we're going to call it qc we're going to say quantum circuit and we're going to say this only has one qubit so we're going to pass one next we're going to apply an x gate and we're going to do that on qubit zero because it's the only qubit we have and then we're going to apply a hotmar gate and then we're going to draw our circuit here we can see we have an x gate followed by a hotmar now, the next thing we need to do is now take our input state and evolve it through the circuit. So let's define, just follow the same convention we were using when we solved this analytically. Our output state, we call it psi2. So let's say psi2 is equal to, and now we're gonna say psi0. And what we're gonna do is use this evolve method. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna evolve the state vector xi zero through our quantum circuit. So we're gonna pass that QC through this. And then we're gonna see what we get, psi two. And here we see, we get root two over two, state zero minus root two over two, state one, which is the same as one over root two, zero minus one. So if we go back here to our question, we can see that our answer is three, um, which if you go to the original repository, you can see that this is the correct answer. 